All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol SRNE. So Rental Therapeutics Inc. And before I jump into this chart, I do want to state some things. And the first thing is welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. Hope you guys find this video helpful and informative and it means you well. To all my subscribers, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your support and recognition to my efforts. I hope to continue to relay helpful and informative information and nothing less. Let's jump into this chart. So, so rental therapeutics today was slightly leveled off, hanging out sideways, trying to break through the 50 day moving average, hang out up here, and then quickly the bears tore this down and pulled it down from the 50 day moving average. Our 50 day moving average is 637. And that is very important right now because this has been below the 50 day moving average for quite some time. Every time it breaks through it, it falls again. And here we are in bearish territory again and the bears not allowing this one to break through it and stay above it. So let's move this to its new location. Support was broken through and let's see our new resistance levels and support. So here we are in the last moments of the day and um, this resistance level is the highest point before the last fall. But I am going to point out uh, two other points that are very important to to pay close attention to throughout the day if it breaks through this resistance level. So back to the 50 day moving average, it is 637. I'd write that down. As long as we stay below it, the bears are in control. If we can break through it, the bulls are in control. But before getting there, the bulls are going to have to break through the first resistance level, and that is 636. 636 needs to be broken through turn into support, and then from that moment forward, they can hopefully break through the 50-day moving average and start to work their way up to newer highs. If they're able to accomplish that, the next resistance level is 656, and that is the highest point after the slight bullish run and before, before the bulls actually appeared. And the bulls appeared from that point forward, tore this one down, hitting lows of all the way down to 614 and closing it off at 619. So very important from this point forward, if the bulls are able to break through resistance, right, of 636 and break through the 50 day moving average, the next point that the bulls are going to want to break through is 656 to hit newer highs and work their way further from the 50 day moving average and an upward direction. But until then, the first point is 636 to be broken through. On the other hand, we have what the bulls don't want to happen and the bears are aiming towards making it happen. And that is breaking through support. This is the lowest point this stock has reached in the last couple of days, all right? And we can clearly see it here. 619 was one of the lows and that was where we leveled off, but that was already broken through at one point in the day. And then the next lowest point a couple days back is 610. That's not too far from where we're at. So this is one of the lowest points reached in the last couple of days. 614, if that gets broken through, the next point I'd pay close attention to is 610. But before that, 614, you're going to want to see the behavior. How significant are the bears breaking through it? Are they making this one hit newer lows and newer supports fairly quickly? Because by breaking through support, they're making it further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction. And by doing that, it's getting into much deeper and uh, further into bearish territory. So that support level being broken through will hit newer lows. And even if the bulls reappear, they're going to have to come in hefty and strong to recover this one and bring this one obviously back up in this direction and to be able to do that they have to re-break through the support continue to run from there break through resistance and they still have a space in between to break through the 50-day moving average and get themselves back up into bullish territory and that still doesn't signify that the bulls have gained control until they break through 656 turn that into support and work their way up further away from the 50-day moving average into bullish territory we're gonna have to see how this one plays out keep in mind those cues and with this information i hope you guys will be well equipped and prepared 
for tomorrow's trading day. Hope you guys found this video helpful and informative and it means you well. If you feel encouraged or inclined to subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss a single video by turning on all notifications and you guys can be up to date on every single chart analysis that I post. Share this with your friends and community. Don't forget to hit the like button and let's make some money. Thank you guys so much for watching.